Alrighty guys, August 6th already. This is kind of my first big project of the season. I'm back here on the farm that I call the home farm. Um, and this is a farm that I have pictures of. A pretty nice deer. Uh, had pictures of them all last year. Um, found a shed at the end of the season. Only hunted him a couple of times last year, but um, never had an encounter with him. Um, this deer did get shot by the other guys that hunt this farm. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not the only one that hunts this farm. That's just kind of how it goes, but we kind of work together and um, we all get along. So, But anyway, that deer got shot and uh, he just kind of disappeared for the whole rest of the season after about the mid part of November um, until we found his shed in January. So then I knew he was still alive, but he disappeared off all the cameras and everything. So I was, I was relieved to find that shed. So that's going to be my number one deer on this farm. Um, he's got double splits on both sides. He's a little bit bigger than what he was last year. I've been getting pictures of him um, on the north side of this farm in a big bean field bottom. Actually about two weeks ago I came in and scouted. I was getting pictures of that big double split deer in that bottom just about every night. So I came in about a couple days after I was getting pictures of him and uh, set up on the edge of the corn overlooking that bean field bottom and he was one of the first deer out. So it was cool to lay my eyes on that deer for the first time and uh, just to know that he's still here is kind of cool. There's also a, a big nine pointer out there that runs with him who I think this year is six and uh, he'll be number two on the list. He was out there the same night that I filmed that I filmed the double split buck. So um, that deer seems like he's all over the farm all the time, has never left. I had to pick tons of pictures of him last year. Um, he's got a double throat patch. He's just not the biggest antler deer, but he's definitely mature. So I'm definitely putting him on the list. But the main reason that we're here today is uh, as you guys can kind of see behind me, this is our main food plot on this farm. It's centrally located. Um, it's right in the middle of it. We got a big creek on the other side and it's just a good spot to catch these deer. Um, they bed up on all these ridges kind of around this food plot. And all we do is basically just come in from the east and hop the creek and hop, hop right in the stand that's at the north end of this. But the guys that actually hunt this farm came in here, sprayed this plot, dissed it up, uh, worked it up pretty good. So it's just ready to plant and that's i told them i'd do my part on planting so i've got this plot measured at about seven tenths of an acre but i may seed it to about three quarters of an acre just because kind of on the south side there's a bunch of brush and stuff that didn't get mowed and i may do that in a little bit heavier um, but pretty much up here i'm gonna try not to overseed it but uh we actually had an awesome encounter last year with that uh, mature nine pointer that's gonna be number two on the hit list he, he was in here i mean it was like four o'clock i mean he had just gotten up, kind of stretching around, just, and then he made a scrape, you know, just kind of hanging out in here, and that, these deer feel safe because it's secluded. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain within these next couple days. It's been super dry here uh, in Iowa the past couple weeks, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to broadcast some Big and Beasty. We have a pretty good kill. There is a little bit of grass still in here. We've got one more plot that I sprayed about a week ago. It's on the south side of this farm. Um, kind of a little secluded plot that I did last year and uh, we'll go plant that other food plot after we get this one done. But that's our plan today. We're going to get this plot in the ground and uh, get it going. Alrighty, well, just wrapped up this middle food plot. Kind of clouding up, hopefully we get a little rain. I know we're supposed to get some tomorrow, but uh, one last thing that we're gonna do is, uh, we don't have a harrow, but we do have a big uh, branch over here, and I got a hitch. So we may just uh, drag it over the top of this, just to kind of ensure that we get good uh, soil to seed contact, and uh, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do when you don't have a harrow or any equipment. So we're going to see if this big limb will work and test it out. See what she's got. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Appears to be dragging pretty dang good. I can see dust kicking up. Well, anyway. 
anyway this will be better than nothing it kind of just breaks those quads up even a little bit more and just gives us good uh, seed to soil contact so sometimes you got to get by with what you got we got a big limb we're dragging but I think it's working pretty good so but this other uh, little food pot that I sprayed a couple weeks ago shouldn't take long so get this finished up and get over there Got our main food plot sprayed and this is uh, a pot that I came in and uh, mowed actually probably a week and a half ago and then I came in and sprayed it um, I got a pretty good kill it doesn't look like anything still alive which is um, really surprising it's only been four or five days I think since I sprayed it but um, as you guys can see there's a bunch of thatch in here um, which kind of makes me worry um, that that seed you know if we don't get a good enough rain that that seed you know may stay on top of this ground but if we get a good enough rain it ought to beat down through some of the thatch and then you know that thatch will hold the moisture and help those seeds germinate so this plot is about a little bit bigger than an eighth of an acre sets up pretty well and we can access from back behind to the east um, there's really good bedding straight west and really good bedding straight north so i had a really good stand a big and beastie in here last year like i said last year i just mowed it and sprayed it too i had some good pictures in here last year that nine pointer is in here um, the double split buck was in here a little bit this is kind of the south side of that farm and kind of the south side of his range also so i don't get him in here a lot but it's just another option to hunt this deer um, maybe on a different wind we like hunting on a west wind southwest wind and it kind of just blows it back to uh, the way we come in so we're going to plant this in big and beastie and um, hopefully get, like i said get some rain and uh, get this get this pot going. I'm not gonna fertilize today. I'm gonna come back probably within a, another week or so, uh, right before we get another rain. Both the co-ops are out of fertilizer, so that's gonna do it. We're gonna get this pot in the ground and uh, give you guys an update in probably another week.